Next page. Back. Show options. Hide options. Hey Elms. Hey Elms. Hello admin. Anything I can help with? Make coffee. Why don't you get me a coffee? I do all the hard work anyway. I'll have a venti americano Stop. with six. Thank you. No, thank you for asking. All your base. Are belong to us. Really? Uh, show menu. Show menu. Show preferences. See, none of these are commands. That's what I'm actually... Open preferences. Open preferences. Uh, sometimes you have to delay it because it is continuously listening. Uh, this test I have with a headset on. And so when you have the headset on, you can do the stop commands correctly. The audio in this recording is being piped in on a different channel. And so I should be able to do close, read to me, read to me. Introduction to XAPI before we dig into XAPI stop. in detail. See how it was instant that time? What is knowledge? From Wikipedia colon A named A. Plural as, is, Stop. as. Now, for whatever reason, I am getting matches of just like the first letter that I say when I use the what is command. I'm thinking that um, I might need to disable the continuous listening aspect. There's there's an aspect of continuous listening that's trying to do a best guess, uh, which if we pop the hood on this, you'll see all these different phrases fly by as I'm talking. Um if you do this mode, right, where it's matching things as quickly as possible, then you get some extreme inaccuracies at times. And then you'll see the full phrase, right? So it, it then did a full processing uh, after the fact, which is what you saw fly by there uh, for a second. There we go. See, it took that entire phrase, but it was doing partial matches the whole time, stacking them up. Uh, so really, I need a way to kind of flush the buffer of An Yang, uh, which is driving this experience. I haven't quite figured that part out yet. Because uh, some commands, I will say, you want extreme accuracy when doing them. For example, the uh, the what is command, right? I, I don't want to query Wikipedia with something completely nonsensical. Also, if I say a very long phrase, I still want it to match appropriately. Now, the code to change this really isn't that significant. It's like one line that says whether or not it should be doing uh, best guess, or it should just it should just hang out. Um, now the the down of the downside is when you have it just hang out and try to be as accurate as possible, then it takes a lot longer uh, to process, almost to the point that it's not it, it, you can't get transactional. Like I couldn't have a conversation with the system. Hey Elms. See those matches there? They were atrocious. Hey, Elms. Hey, Admin. What would you like to do? So, let's, uh, I'm gonna quickly pause. I'm gonna edit that line of code out that does the non-continuous matching, and then we'll see what the accuracy is like. Okay, so, uh, what I did in the pause there is I edited out the line that's processing my voice in real time. As you'll notice, now that I'm doing this, you don't see continuous results. This is kind of the, the major difference between these two approaches. So I'm going to stop talking, and then we'll see it fire the whole message. Now, way, way higher degree of accuracy than me previously. Read to me. This is what a voice reading to stop. you would sound like. So, so it did that very accurately. Uh, it was reasonably fast in that instance. Uh, let's try some other ones. Open preferences. Hey, Elms. <laughs> Elms gets... Uh, my voice says Holmes, apparently, all the time. Hey, Elms. Hey, Admin. What would you like to do? Alternate formats. Open speed reader. 
close scroll Elms, what is hockey? From Wikipedia colon, hockey is a family of sports in which two teams play against each other by trying to maneuver a ball or a puck into the opponent's goal using a hockey stick. In many areas, Stop. one sport, typically field... Elms, what are learning analytics? From Wikipedia... Yeah, if, if, if you heard there... That means it didn't find a match on the article. Now, I need to get it to fall back to other articles currently. Uh, what that's doing is it's tokenizing the input on the voice command, uh, which is a thing, something you can do in Anyang. And so it's matching Elms con context or sorry, uh, conditionally. It doesn't need to have Elms as the trigger word. It could just be what is or what are. Uh, so I actually have two commands, what is and then a wild card, or what are and a wild card. Uh, and it'll take anything in there, but it has to be an exact match, um, as I'm finding. So, what is Cats musical? From Wikipedia, Colin Cats is a musical composed by Andrew Lloyd so Webber, based so on Old Possum's Book of Practical Cats by T.S. Eliot, and produced by Cameron McIntosh. Stop. The musical tells the story. And I only know it did that because originally I asked... Hey Elms, what is cats, or what are cats? And it delivered me. It delivered me to that because it matched for some reason. <laughs> so it's kind of the state of the what is engine. Um, I, I, I'm pretty happy with it so far. Uh, this took an hour to do on the plane. All right, well, two hours to do on the plane. But I've been dreaming about doing this for a while. Um, I envision. You know, kind of a day where you can be querying Wikipedia or pulling in related sources with your voice, um, you know, and, and being able to, instead of having arguments about, well, what, you know, how do we cite that or anything, or is this Creative Commons, blah, 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 you know, we could just capture your voice of what you asked for. Uh, maybe we present a preview on the screen and you say, oh, yeah, I want to put that in there. Um, the module that this is piggybacking, two of them actually. Uh, so we got Drupal uh, is voice commander, which is a project that I'm going to push these changes up to very shortly. I have uh, ownership on the 2x branch of this world. This crazy stuff is happening. Um, and then the other project is called Puzzler, which I don't know why it's called that, but it is a stinking cool project. Um, let you insert tokens into your content and then matches them to Wikipedia articles, caches the response, and then just injects it there um, correctly. So, you know, you could say, like, give me, the, give me the image associated with cats or whatever, and it would put it there, um, which is also something I'd like to do um, because uh, An Yang has support, if you've seen it on their little thing. Uh, goofy, you know, it's pretty goofy, but goofy support for... Um, uh, a Flickr API search thing. I've also seen sound um, Spotify search based on voice, which is somewhere in uh, some of the comments on here. It's pretty impressive. Uh, so we're going to start working some of this stuff in for sure. Uh, but the what is engine in Elms, I've, I've engineered, so it's actually just something in Drupal. Um, it's not specific to the platform. And then the way that you can hook in other providers of that data, uh, you know, so if you want to hit an API endpoint, or not an API endpoint, you just want to query Google, uh, and pull it back as RDF. That shouldn't be terribly difficult, and it's r honestly not that different from what you know OK Google or Siri are doing, um, or Amazon Echo. It, it is incredibly impressive looking. Uh, you know, it's magic almost, but it really isn't that hard to do, uh, given the structure of the data and the you know how good these voice processing systems are getting.